So how far would you go to be the queen bee? It's the ultimate question in the Ensemble Theater's newest production. And we've got your sneak peek. Morning Ghost, tomorrow, 6 to 9 a.m. on CW39. Huge tip. Their awesome play you've got to check out. We'll tell you when we come back. All right, please. so much. It just kicked off its Rhythm of Life journey 2019-2020 season. And the theater's artistic director is here right now. We've got Elaine Morris is here and also the one, the only actress herself. You know, I love saying that. Shamiri Osimini is here. And they're here to share the great details not only about this wonderful production that's called School Girls or the African Mean Girls and other awesome upcoming events. Welcome ladies. Thank so excited you. to have you. Thank you. Thank you. So we're going to start with you. Okay. Tell us a little bit more about this that also has a very important message to you as well. It so does, awesome. it does. So this play is hilarious. It's set in Ghana in the 80s. Um, and I am first generation West African, so the accent comes very naturally to me. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> People can't believe that um, you know the cast is putting on accents at the end of it. They're like, how do y'all really speak? We're like, ah, like this. <laughs> but it's a hilarious play, and there is a very important message. So we do touch on colorism in the play. So um, while you're laughing and having a in the beginning, um, we kind of pull a gym heartstrings near the end and also kind of wake, wake people up to the issues that are going on even presently. So, um, since the play is based on a true story, that event really did happen in the 80s in the pageants. Um, someone who wasn't born there got to got to take the spot of someone who was there because she was mixed race. Right. And um, uh, the playwright decided to create characters and make a play of it, and she did a fantastic job with making it entertaining as well as. Yeah, being that I am a pageant girl myself, Miss America, to have friends in the universe, just so I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah. And I think I know this story very, very well. Okay. So, so why are you specifically getting involved in this? What called you to work with this? Um, so I've actually been wanting to work with the ensemble for a little while. <laughs> but I had never auditioned. I didn't know how it really worked. So I, I pretty much emailed and pestered them until I got an email back saying, this is when you audition. <laughs> and I went and auditioned. And um, when I saw that play, though, I was like, oh, my God. This was like written for me. I'm gonna be Paulina. This is me. I have to do this. And I'm actually um, someone who is an advocate on race awareness when it comes to those kind of topics. Yeah. Um, and I thought it was done so well, though. You know, yeah. a lot of times people bring up these tough issues and they're angry or they're bitter. And I like that she didn't do that. It's really funny, but then it also it's like, hey, this is also my. And speaking of which, Andy Lane, you are so great as the artistic director, especially with the ensemble theater, to bring so many um, relevant stories to. So what else is coming up? Um, hello, hello, my friend. We had another good show. It was a good show. So that means that we are now going to have another show on Friday, two shows on Saturday, one show on Sunday, and that will almost wrap it up. <laughs> then we have another matinee next Wednesday, a show on Thursday, a show on Friday, Two shows on Saturday, and the next Sunday is our last show. It will be the last time I am Paulina Sarpam from Ghana, Ebri. <laughs> My school's name is Ebri in that play. So come and catch African Mean Girls. You have a few more chances, and then we're done. The curtain will close, and I'm going to move to another city. <gasps> I'm going to move to a city that will allow me to do this full time. Because my God is good and I know he will provide for me. Paulina Sarpong, and she is the meanest girl in Ghana. <laughs> and she um, is 
vying for the Miss Gana pageant mm -hmm. crown, and she's a shoe in to win, but something else ends up uh, taking place, and I'll let some people explain it. I'm Crystal Uchum, I play the role of Gigi. This play is about so many things, one of them being body image. My character suffers from a disability, and this play kind of goes to all different types of body image and how to want to be included in it. My name is Judith Igolo, I play Ama. Um, this play really touches on colorism and how beauty standards are based on how light your skin is and how, um, you know, things like that. To, you know, what yeah. to do with Emerald. Yeah, you know, real, real issues. Yeah. Well, you know, yeah. It goes on in life for us to be aware of at this time. Yeah. Hi, I'm Darius Savannah, I play Erica, and I am the something else that comes to falling in the middle of life. Uh, I'm here with the state. on how my character comes in and is able to mesh with all of these girls. And it's a wonderful story overall that everyone should definitely come to. Hello, my name is Sierra Glover. I play Nana. Uh, my character deals with a lot of her body issues and her self-confidence, and she really just grows in on her own towards the end of the story. Hi, my name is Chiamaka Kazuma. I play Mercy. I'm one of uh, Paulina's minions, as you say, and I'm coming into my own. You can say that she's learning more about acceptance and what's important, what really matters at the end of the play. So it's a great play. So <laughs> I, I just want to like congratulate you yeah. because this was just an incredible play. I didn't know what I was going to come and watch tonight yeah. because I just worked on the air and I was like, I just know that my friends bought me tickets to come to a play. <laughs> Not really know you. And I was like, the whole time, I was like, I was crying, I was laughing. I'm just like, yeah. I get mad, and I'm just like. So good. Like involved. It does yeah. a lot, yeah. I was bullied uh, when I was in school because I didn't know English, I just knew Spanish. Yeah. So I was really, really connected with you ladies. Incredible job. Look, everybody needs to come check out the play. How long is it going to be going on? Uh, uh, October 18th. Like, are y'all doing it tomorrow again? Yes. 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 It's like right now. Like Where do they get tickets? Where do they get tickets? Ensemble Theater Houston. Ensemble Houston. Yeah. Ensemble okay. Houston. Okay. 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 So I, I see Grammys. I see Oscars. I, oh, Hollywood. Yeah. I see Hollywood. Hollywood. Absolutely. Yeah. Y'all, I want you to hear this song. It's called Dirty Lover by one of the best vocals I've heard in a long time by independent, whatever. She can sing her ass off. But it's not about voice anymore nowadays, unfortunately. And she wrote this. Singer, songwriter, listen. You seem thinking he was sent from heaven. Hey, hey, songwriter and the girl sounds amazing and not only that it's about real stuff it's about a dirty lover